Mm. I don't want a square building. Yeah, because you symmetrical stuff is ugly. Hi, this is Linda and welcome to my channel another time. Today I'm going to be going down to the earth bag site or the bunker site down in the woods and um, trying to come up with a foundation plan or even work on it, I guess. And uh, what kind of floor I'm going to put in. So let's get started. They shouldn't have worked rocks. You probably should not. But it's fine. So I was thinking about in the front, doing the wall short and the walls angled into the cliff like this. There's the cliff and here's the cliff ceiling. I think that would just make this look way more natural. Yeah. You can see the ground is really High up here, it's probably. If I go up here and I look down, it's. Yeah. Okay, Mikey, I'm gonna have you start picking up all these loose rocks in this area. Okay. So he's gonna continue to do that. I'm picking up rocks. And I'm gonna rake so we can see what we're working with. You know what would be nice? What? Some gloves. Huh? Like so, some, some gloves, gloves so I can like rip stuff. You can wear them. Okay, well that gives us a good start. Let's see what rocks we can get out of here. Try this one. I don't know if we can or not. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, that's it. Good grief, dude. Oh my God. Don't drop that on your foot. Oh, that one's in there. Oh, that okay, one's gonna come out. Oh, I Did broke it? the shovel. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Here. Well, at least we know that works still. So. Come on, Grandma. <laughs> you had too much power. You were too strong for the rock. You broke the shovel. Oh. I think if we both tried to pull Here, it, let me try just we could probably do it. Stick. Just like whack it at it, yeah. Dig it out, Mike. Shovel and dig it out. What remains of the shovel? Also, another rock right here. <laughs> oh, it doesn't help. I think I put around all the edges. It's like a loose scoop. I know, it's like a loose scoop. <laughs> Oh my 
gosh, man. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Right. Oh. And okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we finally, after 20 minutes, I don't know, probably, how long, how long have we been recording? 37 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes, after 20 minutes, we finally, this is huge. almost 20 minutes at least, it's been probably like 15, but yeah. after a really long time, we finally got, got the rock out. Here? How far is that? We should measure that. Oh, do we have a tape measure? Yeah, I brought one. Go ahead. Record this. Let's go 17. 17 feet and then oh, something the inch. Yeah, here, let me move this over. Okay. 16 feet is right there. Right is a not very good sound. It hurts your ears. I know, I know. I don't want a square building. Yeah, because you, symmetrical stuff, is ugly. Well, we're in the woods and I want it to be a wood. As inconspicuous thing. as possible. Exactly. Okay. So this is ten feet. It'll still work. We'll move this one to here. It's like probably sitting on a rock or something. And give me the level. You want to try it? That's it. Oh, it dropped. That's okay. Yeah, I'm so, we're not being precise today. Mike. So, what we've done is we've set our four posts the way we want them. So, I want to get rid of this rock now. I don't think you can get rid of that rock. I think that's another beast. I think that's a snake bowl. Our best bet is just to build a do a pure post foundation plywood base. Yeah. And there's no way we can be moving those big rocks. Yeah, I'm still going to use sandbags at the top. And do the rest out of wood. Use sandbags to form at the top. Built-in showers. <laughs> gotta get. It dirt. always gets wet over there. Yeah, I gotta get the dirt out of my hair. Yeah. Do it. You so. always, you always have to remember the outcome. Always keep the picture of the outcome in mind. That's what always helps Grandma to push through, even when I'm like sore and tired and hurting because I'm old. <laughs> yeah, I'm young and fit. <laughs> but still, it does hurt because I'm small. Yeah. 
yeah. Now that I'm actually doing the work, I understand like why it's so important to watch your videos. Yeah, because it's a process. Yeah. There was a spider on me. It was a tiny jumping spider though. Was Run the metal detector. Yep. So, here, we got the fire out. My husband got it out. I mean, it was the truck that started the fire, but the truck wasn't on fire. Uh, I called the fire department back, told them that we got it out. They may still send somebody out to make sure it's safe. Which is fine. Well, this was not an easy task. Well, we got all our materials settled. So now we start taking them down. and just build whatever you want to build there's a channel on youtube and i see him go out to the woods and build all these cool things all the time and i decided i was going to go out here and build a bunker technically it won't be a bunker because i'm using wood maybe some sandbags uh, as i carry supplies down i keep finding out how difficult it is to get stuff down a, a hill that's probably 100 foot or more and it's got like an angle like like that so it's really been difficult getting stuff down we did get a load of lumber up there it'll be like a regular jack frame so even though everything's crooked right now everything will be level this wall to here i believe is 10 feet something this wall is going to be eight feet that wall is going to be 12 feet and this back wall is going to be seven 16 feet the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to blend into this cave. And my son, who is an airbrush artist, he's going to come and airbrush the building when it's done so that it looks like the cave and it doesn't stick out. So I need to make sure that it's not um, your typical building, but yet it's still going to provide enough room that if you want to come down here and go camping or you want to have a a bug out location that's away from your house so 
so that you can get to another bug out location. Or if you want to come down and go hunting, you can just look out this window that's going to be right here and you can hunt down into the ravine, which goes probably another 150, 200 feet down to the bottom. And even though all this area right here where I'm building is dry, where I have to walk, I've got all these wet, mossy rocks. So it makes it difficult. exhausted from all those rocks you picked up. 